Testing, testing, one, two, three. Oh my god! Wow! How do we turn on a light? How do I start this video? What's up guys? So this is a new channel for me. I want this to be kind of a vlogish coding-ish not a tutorial coding channel because I definitely will never know how to just sit there and make a tutorial. I hate tutorials so much, but this channel is going to be all coding related stuff of me being a dumbass and me trying to figure things out. And I kind of just wanted to document that because it's fun. I've been thinking back on how far I've gotten in terms of my programming journey when I started taking it seriously as on like a day-to-day -day basis. Before I touch it for a couple weeks and then stop and then or I'll work on a project for a couple months and then I'll stop and then whatever. But I'm talking about just a just a learning path where I, I was just thinking, I was like, damn, I've come so far and I want to share with you guys the eight things I've learned in the past eight months that I've been just straight coding. And before, like I said, I was just picking it up and dropping it, picking it up and dropping it. And I worked here, worked there, but I never took it as seriously as I've taken it in the past eight months. So that being said, I know a lot of you guys are coming into this probably curious about coding and not, some of you guys might not even know how like deep coding gets. Jesus, I sound like an asshole. It's not that deep. You might just be curious about coding. You wanna get started. You wanna know more about it. Is it as intimidating as everyone else says? Is it as fun? Or how much money are you gonna make? Well, I'm only gonna tell you the things I've learned so far. <laughs> The number one most important thing I will put on this list is, and the reason is number one is because a lot of people sleep on it and it's take care of your mental health. A lot of people when it comes to programming, yes, it's an amazing thing to be zoned in and focused and learning so much and be stressed and blah, blah, blah. When you're trying to figure out these programming problems, a lot of people forget you're human and this isn't natural to sit down for eight hours, 10 hours, 12 hours a day, trying to figure out some problems, straining your brain. That's not natural. It's gonna catch up to you at some point in time, whether it's anxiety, depression, blah, blah, blah. And for some people, it doesn't, okay? But I guarantee you for some, for most, it's, it's gonna catch up to you in a couple weeks, couple months, couple years of grinding. It's gonna affect your mental health and how you view things. So please be sure to take care of it. If you look on my GitHub, there's a big fat gap where I wasn't committing as many things as possible as I used to. And that's because I just, I was overwhelmed with so much anxiety. I had to step back. And even during my break of like daily eight hour coding, I was still reading documentation. I was still like thinking of problems I could solve. So I was coding in some type of way, but it wasn't as intense as I was doing it. Number two, don't forget the importance of your physical health. I hate, hate, hate seeing programmers like being seen as like these scrawny, yes, I'm skinny, I know. But I hate seeing programs being seen as like these scrawny people who like don't care about their physical health and you know, that hunchback and horrible posture because they're just like this all the time. Remember to stretch, remember to go on walks, remember to go on runs, go to the gym, make that part of your thing. That's another thing that will make your body and your brain feel better. You have to feed your brain some type of good shit, you know? You can't just be stressed all the time. As simple as that. These first two things that I've stated, I feel like are the most overlooked things when it comes to a programmer's day-to-day -day life and it affects everything else. Learn how you learn. And when I say this, I mean it so seriously to the people who look at programming as something that's super hard or, oh, I'm not, I wasn't good at math in high school, so I'm obviously not gonna be good at uh, programming. Oh, uh, I heard that's super hard and I'm obviously stupid and blah, blah, blah. Especially if you're trying to be self-taught. Programming is something that you're gonna have to learn by yourself most of the time. Um, you'll get a project, and then you have to figure out how to work through that project and that's how you learn new things. So that being said, figure out the best way that you take in information. You're no longer in a position where you are forced to sit there for an hour straight watching a lecture. Some of you are still going to school, but I'm just saying in general, you're no longer in a position where you just have to sit there. You have to figure out whether you like videos, whether you like reading documentation, whether you like sitting down with someone and have them explain that to you. There's so many different ways to learn, so many different ways you will find new information, cool new tricks when it comes to programming. I can't imagine how it was like for people who like say for Apple or Microsoft or any software company in the past, they just had to read books and talk to each other. That's it. Like that's how you learned. You just read and you figure it out. You know, now we have Google right here. 
don't think you can't learn this because you can i promise you and i'm so adamant about this because i'm tired of people saying they feel stupid or too stupid to learn what programming is and blah 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 because they heard all these mysterious things i don't know what i'm doing and i know how to do it all right number four jesus christ please don't have an ego egos can ruin you and can ruin your team experience it can ruin your work experience uh it can ruin how you learn simply because a lot of people are like thinking, by the way, it's cool to have people think you're super smart because you know how to program. I like, I'm always like, yeah, you know, but I really, I'm struggling, you know, but that's okay. But again, don't have an ego when it comes to programming because you have to learn that it's okay to be wrong. You're not always going to be right every single time. It's okay to go out and ask for help. A lot of people don't know how to do that. A lot of people think it's okay, I'll figure it out. I'm smart or blah, 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 or they're like too scared to look stupid. Like just, just get it done. Ask for help. Don't think you're better than anybody. And I guarantee you, your, your whatever career you're going into will go up like this. However you learn will go up like this. The progress in which you get through projects will go up like this. This is up. This isn't Hitler. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Number five, do not be afraid to ask questions. When I first started programming, it was really hard for me to ask questions. And that's just because in school, if you raise your hand too many times, you become a distraction. What's so cool about other programmers who already know so much, a lot of them, in my experience, are willing to teach you because it's cool to just pass on information. That's one thing I fuck with so much about programmers. They are so willing to pass on that information because it was so cool for them and they struggled to learn that. So they, of course they want to pass it on, you know? I've met more programmers who are willing to give me information that I've, that I've met teachers who are willing to just take extra time to help you. And on that note, also think about how much time you will save by just asking questions and just stepping out of your comfort zone. It's not easy, but it's better to just ask someone who's knowledgeable a question and maybe learn something for 30 minutes than be Googling and Googling and Googling and not know what you're looking for for like three hours and eventually giving up. That three hours could have been taken for programming. Know when to take a break. Jesus Christ. It is one It is one of the most scary things for me. When I found myself, you know, I thought I was like, okay, I like programming. I like programming, but I didn't think how much my brain was so attached to it that whenever I got stuck, even when I knew it was my scheduled lunchtime, even when I knew it was time to just go for my like 30 minute break and just, you know, walk around or anything, I just wanted to sit there and figure it out. 30 minutes would go by, an hour would go by, three hours would go by, my stomach, my head is hurting, but I'm just so focused. And it's amazing to be that focused, but also keep in mind that could be detrimental to you in terms of figuring out a solution to your problem. Sometimes just going on a walk and coming back and you be like, oh, I get it now. Just know when you're good to take a break, know that it's okay to take a break. The problem is still gonna be there. You still have hours in the day to fix it. Number seven is also something I feel like is very important. You will feel stupid, but remember you are not stupid. You will feel so stupid every time you see a red error the saying, oh, this isn't working. Every time you're like, why isn't this working when it's supposed to be working to work last time? You will feel so stupid and so frustrated. But just remember that programming is just problem solving, right? If it's acting differently this time, find out why it's acting like that. And then now you have some new information you can remember. So this problem never happens again. The cool thing about programming is Whenever you make a mistake, whenever you get stuck on something, that's probably the last time you're ever gonna get, have to get stuck on it because you will spend hours and hours trying to solve this bug and next time you see it, you'll be way ahead of it and it'll, it feels so good. It feels so good. Number eight, you have to remember to make something. Trust me, make something. No matter how much you learn from tutorials, no matter how much you learn from your class, you still haven't made anything. Sit down, plan an app that you think you could handle, but is also at the same time equally challenging, and then just see where it goes, see where you could take it. I want you guys to be able to look at all these things, this list that I just gave you, and at the end, be able to look at whatever problem you have, and if you follow these things, I want you to be able to see a problem and just be like, I could figure it out. I have no idea what this is. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna cry at some point, but I could figure it out. And that's the type of confidence you need. As long as you have some type of confidence, because you handle this, this, and this, and this, these eight things that I feel like are important. As long as you have some type of confidence and you got this down, I guarantee you, you could probably take on, more than likely take on, any type of programming problem that you have. That is that is my guarantee. It doesn't mean anything, but 
it is mine. It's not worth much. Oh, Jesus. With that being said, welcome to my channel.